Welcome to today's workout. What we have today for a bulk of 20 minutes of the time actually we're going to spend working on 20 minute MRAP of 8 reverse lunges with each leg. Then we're going to do 8 front squats. Then we're going to complete 8 uh, either uh, handstand push-ups, pike push-ups, strict presses. Uh, it's a shoulder exercise. And then we're going to complete 8 um, uh, external rotations plus extension from good morning position. Before we get there, the warm up that we're going to do today is going to be 5 minutes. During those 5 minutes, we're going to get as many rounds and reps as possible of uh, 20 high knees. Then we're going to complete 10 toy soldiers, 20 butt kickers. Then we do 10 um, runner stretches. So let's go ahead and start with the warm up. The warm up. I want you guys to complete one round before you start the clock. So here's what you're going to do. The first 20 reps are going to be high knees. So we want to bring our knee a little bit higher than the hips. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Work your way up to 20, right into 10 toy soldiers. So we're going to be swinging opposite arm towards the opposite leg. 2, 3, 4. Once you complete 10, then we're going to move to 20 butt kickers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once you get 20, then you're going to go to a plank position. And you're going to do 10 runner stretch plus a reach. That's 2. And 3. And work your way up to 10. So again, do one round of 20, 10, 20, 10. Go ahead and set up the clock, then start the clock for five minutes. During those five minutes, get as many rounds and reps as possible. Keep in mind that you, we're still warming up, so you don't want to be uh, pushing yourself too hard. Probably work at about 60-70% effort. Alright, after we finish with the warm up, what we got today for the 20 minutes, we're going to be using a dumbbell. Or you can go without the dumbbell if you're struggling with any of those movements. So, the first one, we have a front track reverse lunges. The front track means that we're going to be holding the dumbbell in front of us. Elbows are under, don't bring them to the side. Then from here what we're going to do, we're going to step back, the knees are going to touch the floor, chest is up, stand up, bring the feet to the starting position. That's one, two, you complete eight, then you switch legs, same thing. Eight more reps on this side. Without putting the dumbbell down, if possible, you get into your squat position and you complete eight front squats. As you can see, I'm moving a little bit slower and that's what we want to do today. We want to spend a little bit more time under tension, so slow it down just a bit. So maybe you can count like on the way down, you can count. One, two, and then stand up. One, two, stand up. And you can hold the dumbbell if you wish. So we have eight reverse lunges, each leg, eight front squats. Now we're going to move a little bit to the shoulders. What we have is eight handstand push ups. I want to tell you that this is a, an advanced gymnastic movement. So be safe at home. Don't hurt yourself. If you've never done it before, don't try it. If you've done it before, have fun with it. A handstand push-up. We're kicking into the wall. We go down and then up. We have eight. A second option for this exercise is going to be something that we call pike push-ups. We raise our hips high, place our hands down on the floor. From, from here, shift the weight forward. The head goes straight down and then drag your head through. Try this one and option number three is going to be, we're going to call this a seated press. You're going to sit down, bring your legs to the side, dumbbell to the front track, then we're going to press. Eight with one arm, switch, complete eight more with the other arm. If you have two dumbbells the same size, you can complete eight strict presses with both hands at the same time. <clears throat> what we're looking for here is a, 
it's a shoulder exercise, so don't be afraid to scale it down or modify the movement. So again, after we complete eight reps, then we're moving to the last one, which <clears throat> is going to be executed in a good morning position. So we're going to bend the knees, we're going to hinge the hips back, keep your back straight. Then from here, we're going to pull our elbows straight. We're going to rotate, press, back, rotate, stand. That might remind you of the Cuban press that we've done before. It's the same idea, but this time we're going to do it from a good morning position. So again, bend the knees, hinge the hips back, back straight, head neutral, elbows to the side, rotate, extend, back, rotate, back here. When you're in this position, try to roll the shoulders back, activate those muscles, and again, We have eight reps. So, before you guys start the clock for 20 minutes, I want you to complete one warm-up round or a testing round. After you go through the round, take a short break, set up the clock for 20 minutes, and go as many times as you can without rushing it. Again, remember, the goal for today is not to get a lot of rounds and reps, but is to move, to focus on mechanics, movements, and spend a little bit more time under tension, so slow things down. All right, after you guys complete your 20 minutes, at the end, we're gonna finish with five minutes of a plank challenge. Basically, you're gonna start the clock and you're gonna have eight minutes. Try to accumulate five minutes plank uh, in eight minutes. Basically, if you start breaking things up, then you might run out of time. If you can go for straight five minutes of plank, without taking any break, you're not going to need to use the, the rest of the time. So about your plank position, today our goal will be to actually do it with straight arms. Try to keep your arms just outside of the shoulders, feet are together, keep your head neutral, belly tight. Excuse me guys. All right, so again, back to the plank position. <clears throat> Feet are together, head is neutral, belly tight. Shift your weight slightly forward, and we're gonna hold in this position. If this is very challenging, go back to the elbows. If this is still challenging, from this position, go to the knees. Here, what you wanna do is you look at the clock. Let's say you hold two minutes, then you can maybe take 30 second rest, go for a minute, and so on. Your goal is going to be to accumulate five minutes of a plank hold. That's all we have for today, guys. Have fun with it.